The announcement of what a senior U.S. military official told me is a major game changer when it comes to weapons for Ukraine in the war with Russia. The U.K. confirmed it has delivered these to Ukraine, long-range storm shadow missiles, as they're know, known. It's a cruise missile, usually air-launched, and it has a range triple that of the missiles that Ukraine currently has as supplied by the U.S. I'm joined now by Cedric Layton. Uh, let, let's talk a little bit about what new capability this gives. So the current weapons range for Ukrainian forces as supplied by the U.S., 49 miles. That's deliberate. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, the, the newest one, the Storm Shadow here, a range gets you up to about 155 miles. Uh, What's the difference that that makes for Ukrainian forces? So the difference that that makes, Jim, is is really quite profound because mm -hmm. it's about triple the the distance mm -hmm. of the weapons that Ukraine currently has. This is the export version of the Storm Shadow. Right. Uh, the version that France and Britain use uh, actually has a double double mm -hmm. this range as well. So what you're talking about is a cruise missile with stealth capabilities, mm -hmm. and it also has nap of the earth navigation capability. That means that it flies about 150, 130 feet above the ground yeah. or a little less than that. So this is a very important missile from that standpoint. And that, that can allow them to, to, to fool, fly under Russian missile defense. I've seen these flying in Ukraine, and by the way, it's scary to see one of them because they don't fly that fast. You can actually see them as they move around, and it's, uh, anyway, it's threatening if you see one coming your way. Let's look at the Ukraine map because distance is key here. Now, in my reporting, the, the agreement between the U.K. and Ukraine to get these weapons, which they've been begging for for a long time from the U.S. And, and its allies is that they will only fire inside Ukrainian sovereign territory, some of which is, of course, occupied by Russia, not fire into Russia. So let's talk about the range here, because this has a range, 150 miles. Let's talk about, say, the distance between, say, Zaporizhia and Kherson mm -hmm. here, roughly similar to that distance. So you, you could fire, for instance, from here into Crimea, that's right. That's a problem for Russia. And the key thing is, Jim, that Crimea is recognized by the UK as being sovereign Ukrainian territory. And as a result of that, that makes perfect sense then for yes. a weapon to be supplied that has this range. That's important because it's not just here. And by the way, easy range with this to fire, for instance, into uh, Donetsk, Luhansk, the, the eastern provinces. Uh, currently as well, the red areas here occupied by Russian forces, that the problem, of course, and I'm going to change the color again just so it's easier for people to see, is that with this range, you could conceivably fire across the border into Russia. And that's what has concerned U.S. officials. I should note again, though, Ukrainians have said they will not. Why does that concern? U.S. officials. So what they want to do is they want to make sure that no Russian territory is in range of any Ukrainian mm -hmm. weapon system. And the reason they are doing that is because, uh, for example, right about here is Belgorod. Yeah. Uh, and that is a, an area that has nuclear weapons. Uh, it also has a Russian military base. Mm -hmm. And it's so close to the Ukrainian border that it would be within easy range, even of the weapon systems that Ukraine currently has. So they want to make sure that the Ukrainians live up to this promise yeah. so that they don't don't elevate the tensions and bring the Russians into a higher level of, of fighting. We, we know, for instance, that Ukrainians have been asking for this. This, this is the, a, a U.S. Uh, long-range missile system uh, known as the ATACMS, based on its, uh, based on its acronym there, uh, 185 miles, a little bit longer. They've wanted this. Instead, they're getting the Storm Shadow. Major difference there for Ukrainian forces? So there's some difference. This actually has a slightly longer range than what the mm -hmm. Storm Shadow provides. But the big difference actually is that the Storm Shadow has some capabilities that uh, the ATACMS does not have. Interesting. And those capabilities include a GPS, Nap of the Earth navigation capability. Yes. And the reason for that, uh, it actually allows for more efficient use of firepower and more effective targeting. Interesting. So, so a little less range, more capability. And again, before we go, just noting, Ukrainian forces, they're preparing for a counteroffensive right now. And this new weapon system, this new missile system, is going to give them capabilities they didn't have before. Cedric Layton, thanks so much as always.